Christian Brown grew up all over the American South. South Carolina, North Carolina, Mississippi, and Florida, but Munford, Tennessee is his home. He was rambunctious into every bit of kind of trouble that he could possibly get in. For me growing up was playing in the woods, learning to hunt and fish. I've always been an outdoor kid at heart. I've always been that way, that's who I am. In 2009, Christian Brown decided to enlist in the military. Came home and said, well, guess what? I joined the Marine Corps. I said, the Marine Corps? Why the Marine Corps? Yeah, that ain't what you said. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, because I want to be the best. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to be the best. I was in the infantry in the Marine Corps. Started out as a machine gunner. And then from there, I just grew and went up in the ranks till I hit leadership billets. My first deployment, I was in Marja, Afghanistan. We were the first boots on the ground to ever reach that part of the country. Every step that we took was the ground that we gained. So we fought tooth and nail every day, all day. You know, it was a fight. All you got is the guy next to you. And I can, I can remember times to this day with one of my good buddies where I'm sitting up on this, this mountaintop and it's 15 degrees outside and I'm hugging another grown man to keep warm. And we're sitting in this hole, and I'm thinking, dude, does anybody know we're here right now? <laughs> like, does anybody, you know, stop playing on their iPhone and give a thought that what we're doing? Because that's what we're doing it for, those people. I just wanted to be somebody that was, at the end of the day, on my last breath to say, you know, I took time out of my life to do something for somebody else and not always think about myself. Second deployment was a whole different story. Uh, we had very little contact. What contact we did have, I could hear quiver in his voice. I knew he was in a different place. That deployment was tough. Um, very kinetic, lots of firefights. What they do is they push back and they lace IEDs throughout the area and then try to draw you in. And that's how you get hit. In December of 2011, Christian, under heavy fire, carried a wounded member of his squad to a helicopter over 1,000 feet away. He would receive the Silver Star for his actions. Six days later, Christian's life would change forever. When I got injured, I was actually at my limit of advance, my furthest most point that we had been. I wanted to check on these two junior guys because whenever I got them together, they were just, you know, goofing off sometimes. And, you know, you want to check on your younger guys because you remember what it was like to be a boot and to be a new guy, you know. So I went and button hooked around the doorway, check on those guys, and that's when I hit it and went up. ID. Christian woke up at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland. Coming to terms with his injuries was extremely difficult. You know, I was in a dark place for a long time. It's an indescribable amount of hate and discontent that I was dealing with on personal level, but that's not something you can describe to somebody. I'd never met anybody in my situation. For probably, I'd say eight months or so, I couldn't even raise the blinds. He didn't want to see the sun. You know, you go from being a grown man to being able to, you know, fight for your country and be able to control that, to not be able to wipe your own rear end and having to be turned over to do it. You know, that, that does something to your, your psyche. It's a humbling experience. I met Gary Sinise in Florida for the first time. My mom had set up with American Hero Experience, which was a TV show specifically focused on veterans and getting them out to hunt and fish and do things that they love to do. I said, just trust me, you want to go on this fishing trip. And normally at the end of the show, they surprise them with something. Hey, Christian. Hey. Gary Sinise. Yeah, I know who you are. He was like, oh, by the way, I'm building you a house. And I'm like, what? I had to keep that secret for like a month. I guess you could say that was my first deal with him. It was like, oh, guess what? I'm building your house. In July of 2015, with the support of independent community donations and in partnership with Building for America's Bravest, the Gary Sinise Foundation began construction on Christian's specially adapted smart home in Munford. Until he actually saw the walls going up, you know, it was like it didn't hit him. And then it was like a kid in a candy store all over again, you know? <laughs> He's getting to pick out countertops and cabinets and floors and paint. In April of 2016, the home was completed and Christian Brown moved in. It's a lot to chew on, you know? You sit and look at it and you're like, is this real? 
instead of having to exert all my energy to do the smallest task, I got technology to help me. And I get excited about the smallest things. Oh, my blinds go down by remote, cool, you know? All the independence and freedom that was ripped out from under him, he now has the ability to enjoy again. I've got appliances that are on my level. I don't have to reach up or put myself in a position that I could fall out of my chair. I got cabinets that come down that make glasses accessible, easy to reach. A bathtub, you know, that has a platform so when I go to dismount from my chair to it, I don't have to worry about falling. So it all just plays a significant role in helping me have the ease that you have to be in your house and live. When I look at it, I see things that remind me of myself, which is awesome and my kind of lifestyle and what I like, and I'm just forever grateful. Today, Christian Brown shares his love of the outdoors through an outreach program which he began, designed to introduce young people to the joys of nature. At the Gary Sinise Foundation, we serve our nation by honoring our defenders, first responders, their families, and those in need. To learn more about the Gary Sinise Foundation and how you can support other veterans like Christian Brown, visit GarySiniseFoundation.org.